welcome to UGC net online puri coaching already i have started new series uh, june 2007 already i have discussed question number 1 to question number 20 in two parts today i will discuss third part question number 21 the time required to find the shortest path in a graph with n vertices and e edges actually for this question they have given four option big of e big of n big of n e square and big of n square means what num n e n is number of vertices e is the number of edges usually graph implementation in two ways one is adjacency matrix and adjacency list actually adjacency adjacency matrix both are has some advantages and disadvantages most of the time we will consider as adjacency matrix uh, that is that will take a big o of n square in a top time but sometime uh, you we may implement uh, uh graph problems finding shortest path adjacency um, means incidence matrix in that is uh, number of edges incident on that vertex that is the counting number of edges that you will take a big of uh, e square unit of time so uh for adjacency list uh, most of the time we will consider as a uh, uh, n log n unit of time if it is a uh, uh, parse matrix if it is a dense matrix it's a good for adjacency matrix so for this question is uh, big o of n square uh, because usually graph problems we are implementing using uh, adjacency matrix so big o of n square is the right answer so d is the right answer now we'll go for question number 22 pre order is also known as depth first order breadth first order topological order linear order there are four options here um pre order traversal will use uh, implement using uh, depth first order because uh, it is uh, works on um, uh, recursively so depth first search is uh, the application of recursive technique so uh, we'll implement pre order technique in uh, using recursively uh, means recursive techniques so visit the uh, this works visit the root first and then uh, do a pre order traversal each of a subtree of a root one by y in an in the order given that is pre order technique so uh, for 22 questions answer a is the right answer pre order is also known as depth first order this one uh, same question i have explained in detail uh, question number 22 in june 2006 just go through it next the equivalent post fix expression for d divided by e plus f plus b star c is this is again a uh, repeated question question number 22 in uh, december 2006 i have explained in detail for this question in uh, december 2006 uh, um, third part who are the new visitor please go and watch my previous videos uh, who are already subscribers of my channel they know how to solve this one easily so uh, i'll not spend more time on this just answer c is the right answer next we'll go for which of the algorithm has same average worst case and best case time complexity so this is also a repeated question question number 21 december 2006 binary search maximum of n numbers quick sort and fibonacci search for this i have given a table and i have explained in detail in same same third part of uh, december 2006 just go through it um, for finding binary uh, search actually you go, go through it worst case uh, quick sort it will take a uh, big of n square unit of time binary search best case big of one unit of time fibonacci series uh, average case and best case are same but uh, worst case it will take a pi raised to n pi is 1 minus so root means golden number 1 minus so plus or minus root 5 upon 2 so definitely maximum of n numbers to find a maximum of numbers definitely um, it will take uh, in all cases same time complexity because even maximum element present in the new um means first position but we need to compare with the remaining elements that's why definitely it will take a big of n unit of time so in all cases it is the equal so option b is right answer now we'll go for question number 25 application of uh, data structure is is q is actually 
क्यू अप्लीकेशन ऑफ क्यू दिस इज ऑल्सो रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन डेफिनेटली इट इज इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ प्रियोरिटी क्यू बिकॉज लेवल वाइज प्रिंटिंग ऑफ एफ ट्री इट इज नॉट अप्लीकेशन ऑल्सो फंक्शन कॉल इम्प्लीमेंटेशन दैट इज ऑल्सो अप्लीकेशन इट्स नॉट अप्लीकेशन ऑफ क्यू डेफ्थ फर्स्ट सर्च इज इन ए ग्राफ दैट इज ऑल्सो इट्स नॉट अप्लीकेशन ऑफ क्यू दिस इज अप्लीकेशन ऑफ स्टैक सो देर आर सो प्लेटी ऑफ अप्लीकेशन ऑफ क्यू बट वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट अप्लीकेशन इज इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ प्रियोरिटी क्यू दैट इज वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट अप्लीकेशन सो ऑप्शन बी इज राइट आंसर ना लुक एट क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स इन केस ऑफ बर्स एंड ट्री टॉपोलॉजी सिग्नल बैलेंसिंग इश्यू इज ओवरकम बाय स्ट्रॉन्ग ट्रांसमीटर पोलिंग सेगमेंटेशन एंड मॉडुलेशन है लुकिंग एट द ऑप्शन वी कैन इजीली चूज एटलीस्ट वी कैन एलिमिनेट स्ट्रॉन्ग ट्रांसमीटर इट इज नॉट एनी इट इज नॉट बैलेंसिंग एनी सिग्नल्स सो इट इज स्ट्राइक आउट एंड ऑल्सो मॉडुलेशन दिस इज वन ऑफ द टेक्निक इट इज ऑल्सो नॉट बैलेंसिंग एनी सिग्नल्स सो डेफिनेटली मॉडुलेशन एंड स्ट्रांग ट्रांसमीटर स्ट्रांग ट्रांसमीटर्स आर नॉट द आंसर सो विल गो फॉर पोलिंग एंड सेगमेंटेशन इन दीज टू यू नो वट इज सेगमेंटेशन ऑलरेडी यू हैव डिस्कस मेनी टाइम्स इन मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम कॉन्सेप्ट एंड ऑल वट इज सेगमेंट इन सेगमेंटेशन हाउ इट इज यूजफुल In case of bus and tree topology, there are multiple connections because of which there can be interface if two stations transmit at the same time. Medium access control protocol is required. Signal balancing is difficult for multiple connections. The number of constrained signal is n into n n minus one, where n is number of stations on same subnet. So definitely we required if it is n number of connections we need to use we need to uh, to balance the signal we will use a medium access control protocols that's why we need n into n minus 1 connectors so it's uh, for this situation we need to use its solution is to segment the network means total network divided into small parts small segments uh use amplifiers and repeaters between the segments that is the concept of signal balancing issue okay so option c is the right answer for 26th question now look at question 27th question which of the following technique are required to control data flow means or flow control techniques i hope you have studied flow control technique and error control technique in this first one is windowing routing rpc and buffering rpc means a rep, uh, remote procedure calls uh, for looking you can easily answer routing is not the flow control technique okay and also remote procedure call this is used for uh, client server arch- architecture uh, this is also not a flow control technique only buffering and windows both are flow control because buffering is the additional memory uh to hold data sometime that's why we will use a buffer technique so windowing also same thing so 1 and 4 is the right answer yes, here buffering includes receives the buffer and send buffers is a temporary data storage area and windows is also same is a flow control to prevent the flooding of uh, data from sending and to receiver and Uh, the thus avoid overflow of uh, receiving end buffer the size of the uh, size of window use packet byte as unit not packet amount windowing belongs to tcp flow control supported by monitoring network communi- communications loading segmentation avoiding mechanism is able to predict and avoid a congestion of uh, common t- networks better next points means what what i am trying to explain this is simple windowing and buffering used to flow control techniques and uh, routing and uh, uh, remote procedure calls these are uh, these not the technique to flow control i hope you are you are aware of all uh, flow control and uh, error control techniques so uh, for this question 1 uh, and 4 is the right answer so option a is the right answer now look at question number uh, 28 tdm time division multiplexing is dash uh, primary or secondary type protocol or peer to peer protocol or non priority peer to peer protocol and priority type protocols for this most of you uh, answered <coughs> uh, 
most of you answered for um, non peer to peer to peer protocol but uh, this is peer to peer protocol no doubt but is it priority or non priority we'll see it okay in peer to peer protocol all stations have similar station uh, status and communication in the democratic fashion the majority of the network links protocols fall into this category It means what most of the time all are um, communicate all stations have similar status means what it is like um, democratic fashion um so uh, anyone can access any machine can access any time any uh, any time it can send the data that's why it is um, we call it democratic fashion so calls between the lan attached ip phones are conducted on a peer to peer basis using their lan addresses and their configuration to the lan call between time uh, time division multiple access phones are also on a peer to peer basis through the time division multiplexing switching matrix calls between a lan attached ip phones and a pbx attached tdm phones go through the gateway where protocol issue are resolved including address translation between pbx and extension number and ethernet lan addressing means what it can solve many um, purpose so main tdm technique is to pair to pair protocol so option b is the right answer now you will go for what services does the internet layer provides uh, quality of service routing addressing connection oriented delivery and uh, premium bits actually in uh, internet layer it is one of the important layer in uh, tcp ip model internet layer same as uh, almost same functionalities of network layer uh, so what are the uh, functionalities of network layer is to first one is uh, obviously it is a quality sir uh, means quality oriented guarantee to Uh, the give the best quality of the signal so quality of a service is the one of the major task and one one more is network layer one of the um, important function is routing because internet layer network layer most both of the same function so routing and addressing both are the um, network layer functions so connection oriented delivery and premium bits these two are not the functions of uh, Uh, internet layer because these two are the data link layer so obviously 1 2 3 are the right answers for this question so internet protocol it uh, gives the services provided by ip this one of the option reliability and ip addressing and routing so first three 1 2 3 is the right answer so option a is right answer for 29th question okay now we'll go move for 30th question which of the following protocol is used to prevent a looping there are four options ospf and uh, spanning tree and srb and fragment pre switching these four op- in this you know you can answer easily actually spanning tree main purpose not only in uh, network you can use this spanning tree concept design and lsp algorithm and operating system concept so you can answer easily but anyhow we'll see, look at what is osp open so test path first is a routing protocol for internet protocol networks it uses a link state routing algorithm and pass into a into the group of interior routing protocols operating within a single autonomous system this is one of the uh, routing protocol <coughs> uh, technique sorry now one more is uh, spanning tree protocol is a network protocol that ensures a loop free topology definitely spanning tree is used for loopless because tree itself it is not loop so for this one which of the following protocol use is used to prevent the looping definitely it is a spanning tree so uh, i have explained in detail the basic function of spanning tree protocol is to prevent the bridges loops um, bridge loop and the broadcast radiation that results from them spanning tree is also allow a network design to include uh, spare links to provide automatic backups path in active links these all are other functions of uh, this one but main objective of spanning tree protocol is to prevent the looping option b is right answer for question number 
30 so i hope you enjoyed this lecture series please share and subscribe the channel please uh, inform your friends thanks for watching